Harm reduction is the application of additional measures to reduce the risk of harm of an inherently dangerous activity. An example of this is in the automotive industry. Driving when it first started was an inherently dangerous activity. Over time, the automotive industry led the introduction of safety technologies. The regulators introduced changes to road safety, and together these measures reduced injury to the drivers in the case of an accident, resulting in fewer fatalities as a consequence of driving. Although these measures have reduced the harm of driving, of course there are still fatality risks associated with it. Let's now see how we apply this principle to tobacco products and smoking. Today, there are many smokers in the world. They continue to smoke even though they know that their risk of getting a smoking-related disease increases. The best option for these smokers is to quit. There are many public health campaigns and measures worldwide to encourage smokers to quit. Whilst some smokers quit using willpower alone, many smokers seek help from their doctors and pharmacists in the form of nicotine replacement therapies. Traditional nicotine replacement therapies, or NRTs, include nicotine gum, nicotine patches, nicotine lozenges and nicotine sprays. In recent years, the combination of 24-hour access to a smoking cessation counsellor, together with the use of NRT, has been the most common way of getting smokers to quit smoking. The counsellors are normally offered by specialist doctors and nurses in smoking cessation clinics. Taking the UK as an example, studies have shown that approximately 1.5% of smokers will quit long-term using willpower alone or NRT. A further 2.5% of smokers successfully quit long-term when using NRT in combination with smoking cessation counselling. Overall, this means that 4% of smokers have successfully quit between 2012 and 2014. Recently in the UK, there has been a lot of media coverage indicating that e-cigarettes may be a less risky alternative to cigarettes for those smokers who do not quit. Some smokers who do not want to quit, but know that continued smoking is harmful to their health, have tried using e-cigarettes. As indicated in the European Union's Special Barometer Report from May 2015, on average, approximately 31% of current smokers have tried using e-cigarettes. However, only 4% use e-cigarettes regularly. In the UK, a market where e-cigarettes use is popular, 48% of current smokers have tried e-cigarettes, out of which 11% switch to them in the long term. It's much lower in other countries. Consumer research indicates that many current smokers find that e-cigarettes do not provide an experience similar enough to smoking. This means that in the UK, as an example, 85% of current smokers continue to use cigarettes. At PMI, we understand that for those smokers who do not want to quit altogether, there is an appetite for products which carry less of a risk of developing smoking-related diseases. Taking into consideration the recent advances in technology, along with a firm understanding of smokers' expectations, we are developing a portfolio of potentially reduced-risk products that current smokers can switch to. Our goal is to develop a portfolio of products with different characteristics, giving adult smokers a suite of products to choose from. Central to our efforts is the harm reduction equation. For a cigarette, the acceptability by current adult smokers is high, the risk is high, and therefore harm to the population remains high. If the product has a lower risk profile but is not acceptable to current adult smokers, few will switch, meaning that harm to the population will not materially decrease. However, if smokers can find a product that is acceptable to them and the product significantly reduces risk compared to smoking cigarettes, then the harm to the population will be lowered. 
Our platforms one and two are heated tobacco products and work on the principle of heating tobacco instead of burning it. Platform three is an e-vapor device which delivers nicotine via a simple chemical reaction and platform four includes e-cigarettes. We're in the process of developing next generation e-cigarettes that meet the expectations of current adult smokers, allowing them to switch more readily. Overall, our strategy of developing a portfolio of potentially reduced risk products allows every smoker the possibility of choosing a product that they find acceptable. This will result in successful conversion, thereby lowering the overall harm to the population that smoking causes today.